Hey guys, what's up? This is Josh with Newcomb Guitar Lessons. Um, got a pretty easy guitar lesson for you today. Very important to learn your bar chords. Um, today we're going to be doing the B minor bar chord. Sounds like this. And uh, if you need help with the finger positioning, there's a chart right there. But basically, you're kind of crab pinching uh, the second fret from the A string down to the high E string. Um, and the best way to do that, you can see right now you can't see my thumb at all. And that's what you want. You don't want to be doing it like this. I know that helps you press the strings down, um, but that makes it hard for your other fingers to wrap around and hit the, str the other strings you need to hit below that bar. So basically when you're doing it, you want your thumb to be kind of positioned in the middle of the back of the neck like that, okay? So like that, um, and then you'll put your ring finger um, on the fourth fret of the D string and your pinky right behind it on the fourth fret of the G string. And then your middle finger is gonna go um, right here on the third fret of the B string, like that. And again, that diagram's up there to help you. Um, so you only strum from the A down to the high E. So I'll see how that came out weird. That's because my pinky was back and it was hitting this B string and muting it. So you really wanna make sure that all strings come out clear. And one way to do that is just make the shape and make sure you got it right and then pick each string. And if one comes out like that means you're not pressing it down or one of your other fingers is hitting that string and muting it and it's not coming out clear. Um, so the cool thing about bar chords is you can move them around, same shape. Uh, so that's why they're so important to learn because it helps you phrase uh, a minor chord on any part of the fretboard. So as always, hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what I can do better, and uh, I'll see you next time.